good morning. Um, today I thought I'd pop this on to talk to you about productivity during lockdown, um, which is a crazy thing to even think about, I know. Um, so I thought I'd bring you on my one state sanctioned walk of the day. One, because these walks are really helping me stay productive. And two, um, I thought you might like to see the nice scenery, especially if you're having to isolate at the minute. That must be tough. Um, so my top tip, I learnt from the lovely Lauren Graham off of Gilmore Girls is the very simple oven timer technique. So set your kitchen timer for an hour, go into your set sacred working space, whether you've got a home office or you can just afford yourself a windowsill somewhere secluded um, where no one's allowed to disturb you as much as possible. I know that lots of you will be isolating with family and kids and stuff. Um, no phones and for that one hour is your time to work. So the one thing that you're allowed, in case your mind wanders, which inevitably it does from time to time, is a notebook. And in the notebook you can write any thoughts about work, any good ideas, you can use it as a bit of a diary um, if you want to. And remember that any time spent writing in the notebook is good quality productive work time um, and you shouldn't feel guilty for it. And if you spend the whole hour writing in the notebook, that's absolutely fine, but it's probably unlikely that you will. It's the hours up, stop what you're doing, uh, pens down, uh, even if you're in the middle of a sentence, and take a break, and that's a really important part. Um, and then you can resume your next hour when you're ready. Every night, set how many hours you want to do for the next day. Uh, don't push yourself too hard. Eight hours of quality, uh, solid work time would be excellent. Uh, you're not looking at your phone, you're not procrastinating or anything. So maybe try four or five if you've got a lot going on and see how you fare. And if you don't quite meet them all one day, don't set yourself more the next day to overcompensate. Set yourself less so that you can actually hit them and get good quality work done. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on on the rest of my walk. Uh, and I might show you when I get to the top of the mountain because it is really pretty. This is really pretty here too, isn't it? How nice. So this is as far as I'm coming today just because I do kind of need to get back. Um, but look how lovely, so pretty. I'm super grateful for it. Um, so I just wanted to reiterate that I know it can be really tempting to just hibernate at the laptop screen, but you know, it never really works. It doesn't make you more productive. You just feel shit afterwards. You need a break. Um, you need time with your family uh, or, or whoever you're isolating with, your cat, <laughs> your dog. So do try that tip out. I hope it works. I hope you find it helpful. And let us know if you like it or if you have some other good tips for uh, staying on top of things during lockdown. And don't put too much pressure on yourself because for God's sake, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, so don't stress too much if you're not getting that solid time in every day. Cheers, see you soon.